Hi, my name is Dr. Amir. Last week was very important, not only for me, but for a lot of people in the medical field. We have been waiting for the COVID-19 vaccine for almost one year, since the start of the pandemic. Finally, it became available, and I got vaccinated without any problem. I'm not going to tell you whether to take the vaccine or not, or which vaccine to take, but I'm going to explain the difference between all of them. Then it will be your choice to decide with your doctor which vaccine to take, depending on the availability in your area. I will encourage at least at the beginning that people who are working in the front line, especially in the medical field, to take it. I will also recommend it to the elderly people and patients with chronic medical diseases like diabetes, high blood pressure, obesity, or heart and lung problems to take it as well. I want to remind you that COVID-19 is not only a mild flu. So after one year, it affected over 90 million people worldwide. And the death toll is almost 2 million. The good news, we have few vaccines available at this point. Although there are no long-term studies available now, but the short-term studies seems encouraging from the point of efficacy and safety. Of course, you have been hearing a lot of negative publicity from the social media about the vaccines, but it is better to rely on your information on a trusted sources like the FDA, CDC, and your local health departments. Before I discuss the different vaccines, let me talk about our enemy. The COVID-19 virus consists of genetic material in the middle of the virus, called RNA, surrounded by a cover which has several spikes like a crown. The spikes are made up of protein to protect the virus. These spikes are important when I will talk about some vaccines. We are fortunate here in Dubai as we have the option to choose between two vaccines. The first vaccine I will discuss is a traditional one called Sinopharm from China. It is made from an inactive virus, like the traditional flu vaccine. Inactive means it will not give you the illness, but it can give you immunity. This vaccine has been approved by China and few other countries. So far, the manufacturer did not publish their studies, but they have reported that it is effective in 80 to 86% of the cases. It is given in two shots, three weeks apart. A recent study came out from Brazil using another different Chinese vaccine called Sinovac, was only effective in 50% of the cases. The second one is the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine, which is produced by an American-German collaboration. It received emergency use authorization from the FDA, UK, and Europe. It's a new concept of vaccines, which involves using a genetic code called mRNA. So let me explain this in details. Scientists have recently discovered the genetic code of COVID-19 virus, especially the code for the protein spikes covering the virus. The genetic code is able to provide instructions for our cells to make up a harmless piece of the protein spikes. They were able to put the RNA genetic code on a messenger to use it as a vaccine. This is why it's called messenger RNA or mRNA. This technique does not contain any life or dead part of the virus. Once the vaccine enters our body, the mRNA enters our cells, especially the immune cells, and instruct these cells to reproduce the protein spikes of the virus. Remember, these protein spikes do not represent any live or dead virus, but only the outside part of the virus. Also, the mRNA does not enter inside the nucleus of our cells, which has all our genes and DNA, so it will not interfere with our genes. Let's go back now to the newly developed protein spikes in our cells. In fact, they are considered as a foreign body to our immune system. 
This will cause the immune system to attack the protein spikes, causing production of antibodies against them. By the way, the mRNA stays in our cells for only a few days. This is why we don't develop full immunity after the first vaccine, and we will still require another booster after three weeks to get more antibodies production. In the future, if we catch COVID-19, our immune system will recognize and remember the protein spikes on the surface of the virus and use the antibodies produced by the vaccine to destroy the virus and prevent the infection. The other vaccine, which also uses the mRNA technology, is from Moderna. It is also made in the US. The only difference in Moderna vaccine is that the second dose should be given after four weeks. You should be aware that all the vaccines will not give enough immunity after the first shot. So please be careful and protect yourself until you receive the second shot. Normally, it will take 22 weeks after the second shot to be immune. In fact, both vaccines, Pfizer and Moderna, are 95% effective. That means only 5% of the people who took the vaccine may catch a mild form of COVID-19 infection. Some people might get some side effects from these vaccines. This is expected from any vaccine, like the flu shot or even the baby's vaccines. I only felt a little pain at the site of the injection for two days. Others might get low-grade fever, headaches, and body aches, especially after the second shot. Although these symptoms are similar to COVID-19, please don't get too worried about it, as in most cases, it is just the reaction of our immune system to the vaccine. The next one to discuss is the Oxford-AstraZeneca vaccine. They are using a very weak version of a common cold virus that can affect chimpanzees called adenovirus as a carrier. It was modified by putting inside it the genetic code for the protein spikes of the coronavirus. This modified virus, when injected as a vaccine, it will not harm our body, but it will instruct our cells to produce the protein spikes for which our immune system will form antibodies in the same way as the mRNA vaccines. This vaccine is 90% effective, given in two shots, four weeks apart. The last one is the Russian Sputnik vaccine. It is very similar to the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine. The only difference is that they are using a very weak adenovirus that affects humans and not chimpanzees. It is up to 92% effective and given also in two shots. My final message is that this tiny virus has changed our life, even paralyzed the whole world. Lots of families have lost a loved one. So taking the vaccine is the only thing to get rid of the pandemic. I didn't want to tell you which vaccine I took because I don't want to promote anyone. It should be your decision after consulting your doctor. If you are not in the high-risk group, you can wait a bit and let the high-risk population get the vaccine first. For sure, we don't know how long immunity we will have from all the vaccines available, but definitely we will get more information about the long-term safety and efficacy as time goes by. I hope you enjoyed my topic today. If you do, please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any questions, please send them to me and I will try to answer them in a future video. Until I see you again, I would like to wish you a happy, healthy life.